Welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'll be Nat. This will be my Knackers Yard. Welcome back to the, I don't know, I suppose the Crimbo Limbo edition, i.e. the gap between Christmas and New Year. Uh, and in my household's case, the gap between house guests as much as anything else. Um, oh, it's just downing water because I've been eating too much and drinking too much and hopefully you've been doing much the same as well. Um, been an interesting period. Um, uh, it is currently the I've got a check 28th of December. Um, kind of lost track, which is nice. Uh, you can see a bit of a Christmas beard going on as well, with a lot more grey in it than it used to have, uh, unfortunately. But that's the way of the world. Now, just before Christmas, um, and on the last upload, I finally got some success, I suppose, on uh, on the phaser. Um, uh, and it did turn out to be mostly the injectors, I think. Um, it's still not running well, still not running properly, it's still got some problems. But because I got a little bit of success, I got a little bit excited uh, and um, I spent some money. And I spent some money on, and I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to see that. No, you can't. I'll put a picture down the bottom instead. Um, exhaust. Now, I did repair the exhaust. I use the word repair. Loosely and incorrectly, I basically bodged it with a load of um, um, uh, repair paste. Um, I did try uh, welding it. Um, <laughs> look back at my my various failures on that. Um, uh, I'm a very, very amateur and unpracticed welder. There's some things I can do. Thin steel I struggle with and I was burning more holes than I was filling. Um, so I gave it a go and it didn't really work. It has worked on other things. Um, but... Um, I'm pretty convinced the issues that it's got is just because it's got no back pressure because there's so many holes in the exhaust. Um, so I ordered a new one. Uh, now I ordered that on the, I think the 21st of December. Let me check so I'm not lying to you. Uh, when did I put it through? 21st-ish. I can't find it, never mind. Um, ordered it on my 21st and it's from Italy. Uh, they're rocking horse poo. They don't come up very often. Um, it was uh, best offer, uh, 150 with free postage. Um, I ordered something ridiculous and I ended up paying 120, including taxes and everything else. So, so you know, not cheap, but not ridiculously expensive. And it is just the main pipes. It's not the uh, it's not the actual exhaust themselves. Um, so I ordered that on the 21st eBay guide is that it's going to take until the first, uh, no, wrong, till the 12th of January and it's just updated to the 19th of January for it to arrive. I got a message from DHL today saying it's arrived today. Fucking ecstatic. Um, so, this one, we're going to try it and hopefully it'll arrive in time that I can actually fit it on this upload as well. But what I'm going to do is, um, uh, is um, undo, take off the old one. Um, we'll have a look at the stuff <laughs> my repair is still in, which is pretty fucking horrendous. Um, and then hopefully put on the other one. Now, I'm what I need to do is take off the entire exhaust. To do that, I'm going to struggle with um, it, with the exhaust bolts where it actually hits the main engine itself. Uh, I know that um, because they're, they're in pretty shocking condition. Um, now, the two pipes, and I'll stick the pictures up again. neighbours look at me as if I'm weird. I am. What can I say? Um, uh, I'm going to leave the two pipes on and I'm just going to change the bit with the cap on it, the bulb, <coughs> which I think is where most of the issues are um, this time around. And then I think what I'm going to do is then take the whole thing off, clean the living bejesus out of it, get it nicely polished up and then see how I go. But what I'm, and I know that's a little bit arse about face, I should all do, just all do that in a one but I need to make sure this works. Uh, I need to make sure that the issue is what I think it is, which is lack of back pressure, uh, because the exhaust is just pissing everywhere, uh, particularly around that cap. Um, 
and I think that's the problem. I could remove the cat, could have got another pipe, I could have got a AliExpress uh, replacement uh, catless, but I don't want to piss around with the settings too much. This bike's had too much done with it already um, to mess around with the settings too much more. So I'm going to give that a go. Now, um, it's a double eBay good day because um, last night I also sold my CBF repair, which is one bit of um, successful welding, I have to say. Uh, so this is my CBF 1000 exhaust, the exhaust that came with it, it was in shocking state, that had rotted through uh, and I welded on a section from um, a really knackered um, phaser um, uh, exhaust uh, and put it on eBay and I was, you know, was entirely honest, I have detailed photos that this is a repaired, not a new, uh, and that sold yesterday um, for 90 quid, which the CBF exhaust is freaking cheap, um, but as ever with bikes, I'm not about making money. Um, I've charged for that what I paid for the replacement for blue that you're currently sat on uh, as a stand. Right, enough wittering from me. I'm going to get on with getting this exhaust off after I've had a cup of tea. Right, that was a struggle. <laughs> um, I think this is how I took it off before. So, uh, taking it off at the head, uh, I've got one stuck stud. Why stuck? I mean, it's. Uh, I'll put it down somewhere. Where have I put it? There, you dipshit. Oh, there we go. Uh, as in, the whole studs come out rather than the. Uh, ball at the end. I might have a look at that and see if I can free it and do it properly, but I've had to take the whole front end out. The rear end is still in, but I'm really, I don't quite think I'm going to get to that. I can get to one bolt. The other one's a real bitch and it's really pretty much gone. Two seconds. And I'm back. Um, yeah, so one bolt, I'm, it's going to be a bastard to get to anyway, if nothing else. So I think I'm just going to leave that in for the now. Uh, but let's have a look. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> it was only ever going to be a temporary bodge and it's just rattled itself clear. So it is just pissing out there. So, you know, that's trashed uh, pretty much uh, as expected. Now, I think looking at the pictures, new lander's coming because if I remember correctly, I can get that out. Uh, the old sensor. So, yeah. I think that might do for now. Um, it hasn't arrived yet. Um, so while it's pissing down and cold, I'm just going to push it away uh, and then jump you back in as when and if uh, the exhaust arrives. Ta da! It's here and it's the right one. Um, I'm so happy. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it's it's the same. It's the same one, I think. All the mountains look the same. Um, we look to be in quite good shape. Now, my only slight concern, though, or my only slight concern, my main slight concern is the fact that the... Uh, they're the same. Yeah, they're the same. Um, it's the fact that they are... That is considerably longer. And I don't know if it's going to be enough reach there. I couldn't get that out on my try before, but um, we can we can have a play. Right, it's here. I'm going to clean it up. Um, I don't think I'm going to film it because I'm going to be in and out of the house as much as anything else. Um, I'm not going to go for a bitty bullshit clean. Um, I've done a little bit of cleaning on the old double spout um, just to get it a bit better, um, a bit better nick. Um, my I do have a few slight concerns. One is the stator being shorter. The other is the pipe for the two rear exhausts is tiny compared to that, but then saying that it's ditto on here. So I don't know what's original and what isn't. They are Aprilia um, Acropovic um, exhaust, so that must go on, but I'm going to need a, a load of the padding to get that on. So that means that it's not going to be today, it's not going to be this upload. Uh, apologies, but actually what it does do is it forces me to 
at least have a half decent job at, at, at cleaning uh, what we've got before I throw it on and get carried away, just chuck it on the bike, which I'm going to do because <laughs> I know what I'm like. I'm fundamentally a bit shit like that. Um, right, so I need some of this gauze stuff packing. Uh, let me know what it's called. I don't know what it's called. Um, to go on the end, to get the end cans on and give that enough to bite on. Um, yeah. I mean, there's probably there's some left in it but frankly I'll probably do with cleaning that out and starting again um, and I'm gonna get this cleaned up and that'll do me I am well happy with that seven days from purchase to delivery from Italy is astounding DHL you are fucking brilliant um, uh, every Hermes you are shit <laughs> um, yeah no real basis for that beyond the fact that they are just generally quite shit and um, we've still got at least a couple of kids presents that have been disappeared into the ulu uh, over the christmas period uh, right that'll do me for another one um not a great deal of progress bar um the fact that i think i have a way ahead now um and i and i'll i'll see how i get on right cheers all thanks for watching thanks for subscribing uh, as i said at the beginning i hope you had a uh, um, a good Christmas. Uh, I hope you're enjoyed or enjoying a break. Uh, we all need it. Uh, and I know I do. Cheers all. I'll catch you later on. Ta-da.